Hi Gemini, welcome to your July reading. So I wanted to record this video for you guys before the end of Gemini season and Cancer season is right like behind you guys. It's here, it's ready to take over and uh, I feel, I, I, I like this combination of like we're not there yet but we can feel the energy, you know, but we can still handle and use the energy of the Gemini so I th thought it might be a good day to do this reading for you guys for July so how has your season been did you guys have good a good month how was you guys birthdays I mean for my son Gemini's I hope you guys had good days um, you know just enjoying yourself you know and celebrating life and just i don't know you know having a good time releasing some of that energy so first card i'm getting is a seven of wands with a seven of swords what is going on seven 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 <laughs> Okay. Now let's talk. Cause Gemini, what 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 is going on? People around you coming for you, huh? this season they have been coming for you this season just a lot of confrontational I'm coming for you type of energy you know is intense but you expected it you expected it you know what Gemini season and energies can do to the other zodiac signs. They just come at you. They just do. And you're pretty aware of the energies and you were pretty aware of the way people came at you in a sense of aware, knowing what to engage in, like what to sort of give energy to and what to just let you know burst off your shoulder like the king of swords so i'm feeling this was like sort of a combination of gemini season from like really good days to like intense days where people be like okay you know what six years ago you know what happened you know and i did not like this and you know like that like you were like okay so everybody's coming for me now okay you know and it's just triggers and i don't i i like in a way that it's coming now because i do want to give you guys credit for how you picked it up on like how you picked it up how you handle certain situation this month really bigger person you know the other twin came out and said you know what we're not gonna respond we're not gonna engage in this we're gonna be on our own hill, make sure nobody gets up on this hill, but it's our hill, and this is like, it's my peace of mind, and I'm damn sure gonna protect that one. You know, that's what I'm feeling with this energy. So let's see, what's coming up for, for July? Where are we going? Now that's what I like to see. Interesting. Ah, <sighs> softer energy, you know? Getting back into alignment with each other, getting back into union, you know, love. Coming from a love energy, love vibration, because this was a lot of fear talking, a lot of people coming at you out of ego, out of fear, and now, I don't know, maybe this was a relationship where there was just a lot of struggling and troubles, you know, between the two of you this last month, 
with ups and downs, good days, but really bad days too. And I feel that in July, yeah, in July is going to be more peace for you. You know, flowing with the energy. Because the thing is, is that what I'm feeling with this, you know, with this energy right now is that during the month of June, you know, during the month, like the end of May and like up until now, like 20th of June, you had to sort of remember people like, listen, I am about that. I'm not going to engage in that. I'm going to be here. Like I'm going to write hide it, but I have to, it's sort of like, come, like you constantly have to remind people of where you were at right now and you're not in that anymore you know and here i feel now you just are you know now you don't have to pick yourself up on the bad days in the end of the bad day and then you know talk yourself back into alignment and peace now you just are at peace and now you just are in alignment in Ju in july you know now you're reaping the rewards of how you handle this, these type of communication and these type of, you know, bumping with people, whether it was at work, whether it was with one person like you're in a relationship with, whether that was with family, they were all coming at you, you know, but look at this, wow, Gemini, the sun is gonna shine right up until the Leo season starts, you know. What a beautiful energy. I feel you've got a lot of off your chest as well in, in Gemini season. Like just, just give it raw, right? Let's just get it out. The good and the bad. Like the ugly and the pretty, you know? It's just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You guys are amazing me like with this reading already. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Sun card, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I'm hearing love is in the air. Oh yes, love is in the air. Let's look at that. I'm gonna put Tower a little bit on the side because it was a, it wasn't a flipper. He was on the side. So I'm gonna clarify that. Good. Nine of Cups and Seven of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, okay. And the, wow, guys, what an amazing reading. Okay, that's that's a little bit too much. Now you're pushing it. And there you are, Gemini. Showing up in your own reading. Okay. Justice was hiding right under the full energy. Now what's going on because how do we go from this up into all of this goodness you know I'm hearing I'm hearing let's do it all different let's just do it all different let's just go a different way let's really try let's really 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 try let's really be real with each other um when speaking about a union between two people because i'm picking up on a relationship that you guys were sort of Like the last couple of months, there were certain things that needed to be spoken about, but one of the two kept it for them, like the emotions and stuff you need to speak about. Um, and it, it just bottled up like more and more. It just became more and more. And they're like, oh, if I didn't say this, then I, I'm not going to say that either because it doesn't make sense. Oh, I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm just going to stay home two days. It's like, you know, stuff like that. It's just, it, it's, it was just building, like building up, building up, building up. Uh, up until the point where everything came on the table during Gemini season, it was just raw, but it was real. And what happened was the tower moment. 
went from I'm no longer pretending that, you know, that this is is what's making me happy, you know? I'm not, not going to self-sacrifice. I'm hearing self-sabotaging uh, to fit into a union anymore. I want... Um, I want both sides, both sides of my heart, my soul, my mind, you know, and my physical body, just both sides. I want it to be fulfilled, you know, I want it to be in alignment. And of course, you guys are like the twins of the zodiac sign. You guys have like two different sides that both need fulfillment and it's very opposite sides, you know, and they... The situation has to be balanced in a certain way, has to develop in a certain way where both sides are fitted, not just one side. Because if it's only your softer side, then your more rational side, but also that curious side, right? Knowledge, uh, engaging in, in deeper conversation, in, in deeper knowing, like higher wisdom. It's like that part also needs to be fed. Like you do, because otherwise you get out of balance and then you can come like this, this side all of a sudden takes over and then this happens, you know, and that happens, the tower moment. So I think that the tower came down, good, Let it, it just came all out, just came all out on the table. And if not, then that is, that could still come, but then it will be more about the emotional side when it comes to the cancer season, you know, but what I'm picking up on is that. You're no longer one to fool one of the sides, you know? You're no longer one to calm one of your, your sides down. It's like, yes, but, but we're, really, we're, re we're really fulfilled over here, you know? Uh, yes, but I'm, I don't feel it. Yeah, but, you know, we got to give and take, so, you know... And you're no longer to, willing to, to sacrifice some part of yourself inside a union, inside a relationship, or maybe inside a job. Because it's very general and I'm reading for a lot of Gemini. So I'm trying to keep it as general as possible. Apply it to your own energy. But what I'm picking up on is that it's really good because it's like going in back into a union with the Nine of Pentacles energy is a true balance. You know, that knowing of like, okay, if I go here, that won't make me happy. I now know that that is not for me. I'm not even going to see it as an option anymore. You know, I'm going to not self-sacrifice a side in me that in the end of the day will be the reason for a breakup in this relationship. Because the thing is, is that... You don't mind accepting certain sides from people, you know, it's not, it's not about that. It's just, there are just certain aspects that are needed for you to be able to give yourself to this union, you know, but I think that there were some parts in you that needed, that needed like also their fair share. You know, and maybe you've neglected that and that came out and that was a reason why this build up in the tower just had to come down. But I'm seeing you guys have a really, really like good shot again, you know, whether that's like a relationship that has ended and now you're back into communication with each other about perhaps coming back together because I'm, I'm do really picking up on that energy but it's different for everybody but it could also just be like you guys been together for a long time and then last month was very intense and now I see you coming back into alignment and into union what's most important for me is that you're gonna feel a lot better this month you're gonna really feel good into in in the, in the cancer energy you know because people are gonna come off softer, more compassionate, and I feel also you are gonna be more patient and compassionate towards others. You know, you're not gonna come out as a king of swords anymore. So, an offer.
decisions. Really, really, like really ready to put in the work, uh, both of you guys, because I'm hearing as well what you put your time and energy and focus towards during this period of time until like Leo season is really going to bring in the rewards because we're going from you working, you focus, you working on the details, you know, working on your craft and then we're going into the nine of pentacles meaning whatever you have been working on is coming into fruition and then we don't go to the ten of uh, pentacles but we go right into the ace you know so it's like the universe as well recognizing your energy and effort but i'm also seeing that as your partner really picking up on that energy it's like hey and coming from a lighter energy I'm also picking up on something else, but I'm going to get some more cards on that. I did so many personal readings last month. I'm blessed. Like, uh, it was amazing to do and um, to just work with you guys one on one. But that's why I'm, I'm, I'm having, like, you guys have a first, like, monthlies again, like the general energy. So now I have to be very general again. And I just was like, all month, I was like, very super focused on. And one energy and one person and one storyline so that's why i just have to remind myself like hey i need to be general and not focus in on one thing so yeah that's what i thought already one second yeah this is a different storyline. That's why I'm getting some extra cards on that if I was on the right track. There's a Gemini that's going to walk away from a relationship. Things came to the surface. Things came to light. And you were just not having it anymore. It was it. It was done. It's it. Finito. <laughs> I'm hearing <laughs> Because the thing is, is that what I find fascinating about what I'm picking up on is the calmness around it. It's like approaching this, stepping out of a union, you know, stepping out of a soulmate ship or a twin flame or just a relationship in general. And instantly showing up as the queen of pentacles, like I'm emotionally independent yes it hurts when you have to leave something behind but i'm no one doing it out of love for the other person i'm doing it in many ways for my own self-love and i just want happiness and i'm gonna work towards that i'm gonna listen to my intuition i'm gonna follow my passions and i'm just gonna find happiness or at least remove the things from my life that most definitely get me out of balance or make me unhappy. And that's a start. A really good start. Because instantly the sun is shining for that person that I'm picking up on. Because also, even though you have reasons, many reasons to hold a grudge or, you know, have any sort of energy towards the other person... You decide to not go and do that. You decide to let karma do her thing. Because you're coming up with the fool and the justice was hiding under that. Why you coming up with this light energy is because you're not going to take all that anger, all that resentment, all those those grudges, you know. And you're not going to carry it in your back with you on the, onto this new journey. You know, you're just not. I'm not seeing any eight of swords or something like that. You know, you're just like, I'm going to I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm going to trust that whatever situation happened towards me during this relationship, during this work situation, 
I know justice will be served and I have faith in that. Like because this person is walking by faith, not by sight, because he's not even looking down where he's walking. He's walking by faith, you know, and he knows that things will get justified. That's the reason why I see you walking away, leaving it behind, because you know that that's the best thing to do. Yes, of course, it's it hurt, but it's not hurting to an extent where you will let it weigh down your energy or let it hold grudges towards the person. You have so much compassion for self. And for the other person. And I find that so beautiful. I can only say like wow. I love that energy I'm picking up on. like, And the universe as well. Because they're just like. Yes. Yes. Now you're getting it. Now you are getting a Gemini. It's about the release. You know. And maybe in Gemini season. That was what it's about. That maybe it was a relationship that already ended a while ago, but you were still holding on to all that weight. And then you just released it and let it go. And then the sun instantly started to shine, but you're also open, walking with an open heart chakra again. And be careful with that, because if if, if um, some person pick up on that energy, it's just going to walk straight into your heart. <laughs> You know, if they're on the same vibration, of course. So, I don't feel that that person's energy or those small group of Gemini people I'm picking up on going to be single for long. I'm, I, I don't see that, you know. But it was all about decisions, you know. It's a, it's a choice to let it go. It's a choice to put this down. It's a decision to go within and to find whatever is laying there whatever needs to be cared for you know like i said like you have two sides and sometimes one side takes over because it's out of protection it's like a protection shield for the other of the side in a way you also have many tra cancer traits you know your softer side that compassionate that loving energy that caring for other people that are always really and ready to help somebody out and very beautiful but you have like like cancers have like the shell right the heart shell you guys have the other side inside of you you know that will always protect that other side and sometimes it takes over a little bit too much and then there's no room no space for releasing emotions and energy and i feel that this month it will open up again the heart chakra right now i'm wearing as well i'm wearing some rose quartz and uh, one of my favorite stones actually but i had a hard time with with rose quartz in the beginning i'm not gonna lie and i'm i'm, I'm like cancer cancer like i'm cancer sun and rising but i had the hardest time with um wearing these this crystal like uh, I had a different one and I used to wear it right here um, and I would constantly like my skin would like even like reject it you know and it didn't matter what I do like right now I also can really handle like uh, chains and stuff so I have like this little cord and that goes good <laughs> but um, I'm hearing stay relevant, stay relevant, so I'm gonna stay relevant. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that it had a lot to do with past hurts and stuff, and and a very close heart chakra. After I had been having my fair share of heartbreaks and um, stuff that happened in my life, and um, dealing with depression as well, and after coming out of that, I had physically even pain, like when my heart chakra reopened, and. That's why I said, like, it needs that opening. And that can come sometimes with tower moments because what you're going to find there is sometimes so much because everything got covered up by this energy. It's like, whoever comes too close, I'm just going to, you know, block them off. And I'm just going to see things rational. I'm going to speak the truth. I'm going to, like, I'm not going to make it pretty and things. And that other side of you 
is now getting room to purge, like to release some energy, you know? Because when something is protected, when something something is protected, like shielded, they it, it can also not release anything. You know, so balance, I'm seeing that happening and you're gonna feel a lot better. Because I see some of you have been through it in June as well. Even though it was your birthday season, you still felt like you couldn't completely tap into it. Because there's also a lot of other things going on with the planets. But it's also the people. They were just responding to this energy like cray. You know? And I know. <laughs> I know. I've, I've had my fair share during <laughs> Gemini season. Uh, nothing but love though. But <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a spirit message for you guys. Let me see what else I'm picking up on. Wow. Have fun. Have fun and that's, that's it. You know, that's exactly what you're going to do. Like I said, you're going to feel so much better. I feel in a way, this is also your two different sides, you know. This is very about being external and this is about that internal, you know, in extrovert, introvert side of you guys. So I have, have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the fun of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytic mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun now i love that message because that's actually it's like they're giving you and some great tip and guidance on how to you know release and open up that side of you so just do things that just makes you laugh to do things that that make you act silly and then the other side of you releases you know that shield protection um, that was needed during Gemini season. And then I have Dream Talk, which I, I love this card so much. I'm going to read it to you guys. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks to your dreams. It's just one of those many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbol, messages, and more. So they want you to focus. I'm hearing like dream journal and uh, writing down your dreams. But a lot of people, uh, for example, have like this entire dream about, for example, a dog or something, a white dog or anything, a white dog I'm hearing, stuff like that. And then when you wake up, you can't remember like the complete intense, the entire dream, right? You can just remember like, I know it was about white dog, but what this white dog was doing, I can't remember. I don't know. I, I just can't. But I know this was, there was this white dog, you know? So then maybe it was just about the sign of the white dog, you know? And maybe another night, the dream will come back to you because when... And it sounds maybe, well, I'm going to let you decide to choose whether you believe in that or not. Because that doesn't define <laughs> like what I'm saying. It's just like I'm giving you a chance to have an open mind for that. If the universe is trying to get you to, let me put it like that. If the universe is trying to get a message to you. You know, whether that is about whatever, they really want to make sure you know a certain thing. And they come and choose and pick your dreams to come and communicate with you. And you, you have, for example, conversation with somebody in your dream and you remember certain things, but just keywords, but you didn't get the message. You know, don't worry about it because. They will come back and try again, you know, to get you to that message and a realization. That can also just come when you're awake, when you're in the car and all of a sudden something pops up in your head and you're like, oh my God, why didn't I realize this or that, right? We all have those moments. That's, you know, your subconscious picking up on something. You know, sometimes we pick up things in our dreams and then during the day, 
while we're like driving but sometimes we can get a little lost in thought in thoughts and stuff that's when sometimes a realization moment can come that was actually a from your dream and you just remember it because you see something on the road or some you know stuff like that so always trust in that they always know when you get or when you didn't get the message literally (laughs) you know so it can also just come through different type of symbols you know it can come to um certain type of birds it can come through feathers it can just rainbows anything you know numbers i have that really heavily with numerology it's really intense (laughs) um but yeah both sides right so have some fun during cancer season please (laughs) well they're they're asking you to to open up your heart chakra and to to release some of this energy you know that has been intense in in june and i'm hearing may so time for some fun knowing that whatever it will get justified you don't have to be busy with that you don't have to put energy towards that you just have to let it go and focus on your own energy just focus on that and how can you feel good what is there that needs to come down what is no longer an option let it go you know and that's going to really help you forward and then the action part of it will come in leo season so end of july so put Take, just take time to have fun in July and to, you know, heal some parts of your inner child and connect to those parts. And then the action part, yes, will be in the end of July. You can get back into your work modus if you want to. So have some fun. Okay. Thank you, Gemini. That's it. I think, yeah, I think that's all I've got for you right now for this month. Um, I will be, I won't be doing any personal readings. Um, you guys still have till like the twenty fifth, um, to order a reading with discount. So if you would still want one before July starts, um, you can get one with me for this with discount. So uh, just notice that. <laughs> and thank you, thank you so much for your support and likes and shares and everything. That's also you guys had the most views last month. That's why I came here first with you guys because I just really want to make sure you guys know how much I appreciate it like I'm really really appreciate it so thank you so much and I'm gonna celebrate my birthday in July so I'll be back um in August (laughs) bye Gemini have a have a great cancer season (laughs) bye